all as the way we men dance say about us. Whether it be the foxtrot or the funky chicken, does our dancing style have anything to do with our genetic makeup and our desirability to women? In 2008, Dr. Peter Lovett of the University of Hertfordshire filmed himself performing different dance moves and blurred out his physical features so that only his movements were visible. He then showed the videos to a group of women. He asked them to rate how masculine, dominant and attractive each dance move was. So, Peter, why did you study this? What we're interested in is the way that people communicate through dance. So dance is a kind of a language, and we want to understand the nature of the language that is dance. Dr Lovett's research discovered two things. The first is that men use dancing to demonstrate to other men they're the top dog. The second thing men do is to communicate their level of testosterone, or their genetic quality, to women. So what are we going to be doing today? Today, we're going to be getting guys to come into our dance booth and dance for us. We're then going to blur their image out, and then we're going to show those dances to women, and we're going to ask those women to rate the men in terms of their attractiveness. What we'll be doing then is to measure the men's testosterone, and what we expect to find is to demonstrate the relationship between a man's testosterone levels and his dancing ability. Well, that sounds fantastic. Can I have a go? Sure. Our specially constructed dance booth is in a shopping centre in Kingston and it's from these daily shoppers that we will be finding our male dance volunteers and female observers. Now, according to Dr Lovett's research, good male dancers have been exposed to high levels of prenatal testosterone. To test this theory today, we will need two statistics. Firstly, we will measure the length of the second and the fourth finger of their hand. If the fingers vary greatly in length, they will be placed in the high testosterone group. For the second statistic, the ears will be measured from top to bottom, and the closer they are to being the same length, the more symmetrical they are. And so, once again, this will indicate higher testosterone exposure. How am I looking then, mate, after them stats? And you've got a, a difference in your ears, yeah. which shows you're slightly asymmetric in, in terms of your ears, yeah. and your fingers, it does appear that you have a reasonably high level of testosterone. Oh, well, that's good. So I'm, I'm quite blokey, but a little, little bit skew whiffy. So, will the men with the highest testosterone be the best dancers? Time to hit the dance floor. Once the men have danced to their selected track, the women will be asked to rate the blurred out dancing images of the men between one and seven in terms of attractiveness, masculinity and dominance. So if he was in a nightclub, you know what I mean, doing something like that, would you find him attractive? No. No? He's a bit too confident. Okay, so what would you give him out of seven? Give us a mark. Probably a four. About a four? Yeah. What would you? Three. Three. He's taking control, certainly. Yeah, out of seven? Five. Five out of seven. <laughs> Attractiveness, what do you reckon? Attractive? Two. Maybe a three. Maybe a three? <laughs> Good, about a two. About a, about a two. Not your cup of tea, that Not one. Really. No. Oh, he looks familiar. Okay, here we go. Attractiveness. Um, what do you reckon? A one. A one, okay. Yeah, one. Cool. Oh, it got slated. Oh. The numbers are in. So, is there a correlation between men's testosterone level and their dancing ability? What we found today was that the high testosterone men were rated as more attractive, more dominant and more masculine than the low testosterone men. So you must be delighted with those results. Well, it's very pleasing. These data certainly confirm our earlier data, um, so it's very exciting for us, yes. And how do you think I got on today with my dancing? Did I do all right? I think you were fantastic. <laughs> all we needed was a few more middle-aged raters, and you'd have got top ratings today. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <right. laughs> middle-aged raters, that's what we need. So today, our dance booth experiment suggests ladies don't like us dancing like our dad, they don't like us shuffling around wringing our hands, but they like small, coordinated and complex moves. So, ladies, next time you're on the dance floor, beware, we know what you like. <laughs>